Hey everyone, just a little bit of encouraging word for you today as you carry through, carry out throughout your day. I want to uh, primarily be going off of Mark 5, but just a little background information. Um, now Jesus, the disciples are out on the boat on the sea. There was that huge storm and, and Jesus quiets the storm. And so the disciples are like, who is this guy that even the the wind and the seas obey him. And so they get across to the other side of the lake and it says in Mark 5 verse 2, and as soon as he got out of the boat, there met him out of the tombs a man under the power of an unclean spirit. This was the land of a crazy man. This was the man that was full of all the demons. And um, he so crazy that in verse 4 it says, for he had been bound often with shackles for the feet and handcuffs by the handcuffs, chains, but the hands, excuse me, and handcuffs, but the handcuffs chains he wrenched apart and the shackles he rubbed and ground together and broke in pieces and no one had strength enough to restrain him or tame him. Jesus, when I was praying about, you know, what to share with you all, he took me to this, to this story and I thought, oh Lord, this is kind of different. But then that verse right there for, for he had been bound often and, and no one had strength enough to restrain or tame him. You see, so many of us have a monster like that, that we're ashamed of and we want to hide and we think we have control over it, over it. We tame it often, and, and but nothing is strong enough. You know, whatever it may be, whatever that is, that depression, that anger, that fear that's inside of you, you think we have control over it and then something happens that sparks it to come back. And we think, I thought I, I bound this and so we, we try to bound it often. But this is the thing, nothing's going to work until till Jesus walks in. Because when Jesus walked in, even these demons knew in verse 7 it says, And crying out with loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? And Jesus wasn't afraid. Actually, what he did is, in verse 8, for Jesus was commanding, Come out of you, you unclean spirit. And then he asked him in verse 9, What is your name? Jesus is not afraid of your depression or your anger or your fear or your past. He's asking you, What is the name? Because he's saying, by taking that, and you put my name in front of that, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that depression. In the name of Jesus, I'm bigger than this anger. Because the demons knew when he came walking, whoa, what are you going to do to us? I'm going to tell you to leave, is what Jesus is saying. On your own, you cannot tame this. You are not strong enough, or you wouldn't have to bound it so often to handcuff it, to tie, try to hide it. But this is the thing. Your Jesus is on walking on the scene. And he's saying, I'll call it by name, I'll tell it to go. What Satan doesn't want you to understand is the power and the dominion you have by the name of Jesus. And he is inside of you. You tell all those things to go in the name of Jesus because he is strong enough. Because what he did on the cross is all those things that you try to hide, all that fear, all that anger, all your past, it was nailed on the cross. Don't you see? And it was called a victory. Those scars, don't be ashamed of them. Because your Jesus, he has scars too on his hands. And he knows with those scars is a story of victory. And with your scars is a story of victory because it all points to him. Because what was left after Jesus came on the scene and he told them to go was a man that was sane, a whole and healed man. And what will be left is a whole and healed man, a whole and healed woman. Don't be afraid of that past. Don't be afraid of that anger. Don't be afraid of that fear because your Jesus, he is not afraid of it and he is big enough and he is strong enough and he can and he will heal you if you'll trust him. You don't operate by faith, facts of this world. You operate by faith. I pray this blesses you. I pray this encourages you and know this, you are an overcomer. Amen.